Hello, this is Mike from Headquarter Audio and uh, today is the day of uh, tuning day, I will say. And uh, I will give you a tip for uh, to tune uh, your maybe DAC or every device with uh, XLR in or output and especially the mounting of uh, the XLR, especially on the back of your device. And um, how did it came to that? Uh, a customer uh, or a, co um, a follower on YouTube uh, asked me um, if he can do uh, the tuning of the Pontus. Uh, it's a video before. Uh, me mechanically tuning of the Pontus from me. Uh, if he uh, can do it for himself or if I have some parts to do it. And uh, I wrote him, there are no parts, uh, it, uh, the Pontus uh, must come to me and I will do it here in my, in my home, in my um, Werkstatt. What's Werkstatt? Um, yeah. And so um, he was a little bit sad and um, I uh, wrote this to him. Okay. Hi. Fast advice for you and please try and tell me if it made a difference in terms of sound for you. Loose the screws of the XLR sockets on the back and do not tighten them again or just so that uh, just make contact with the rear panel without applying torsional forces to the socket. Okay, and you can see it, some brackets. Um, remove the screws of the cover lid and turn the, uh, the one in the middle in again but without extreme force. Yeah, that's important. No extreme force to every screw on the device. Uh, just make contact with the plate and then uh, a quarter turn more. Okay, so I will, I will show you what that means. Okay, this is the back panel here from hey, my love RS2. Very nice device. Yeah, and analog sounding and open depth in the sound and uh, it's wonderful for this price you will not find any anything better okay but if it's new new assembled in factory and will come to you maybe like Pontos yeah maybe you will sit there and then oh, it's uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard on top yeah some uh, tones are or some sounds or instruments or voices a little bit uh, spiky or um, no the bass is not fast yeah and not so deep as I I hoped yeah so that is my advice advice for you to have a look at this problem you can solve this problem here with these screws and um, first I will show you what's what's what the point is yeah the point is look here inside if you have a device with XLR sockets soldered directly to here, um, the platina, <laughs> um, what's a circuit board? I think it's the right word. I, ha I have to learn a lot. So this is the circuit board and the, the um, uh, XLRs are uh, soldered directly to the circuit board. And so if you turn the screws to fix that to the back plate here, yeah, you you have you will turn the socket here in the in the direction of fixing the screw, yeah. So if you put your uh, screwdriver to this, yeah, and you screw or turn the screw, this the whole socket will turn in the in this direction for fixing, yeah, and in this moment. This terminal here behind on the circuit board will press the circuit board down, yeah, and that's the problem. You are um, is there's a force on the circuit board, and this um, is a problem for the sound. And I'm a mechanically tuner, and this is my advice um, for proof. The things I say, yeah, you can check it by yourself. Just the way is. To unscrew these screws both, yeah, and just screw them again, yeah, 
but not so that this the socket will turn a little bit yeah and that's all yeah maybe the second step is here to uh, unscrew these screws here all yeah so maybe you can hear a little bit of cracking inside and the, the whole device will settle down so oh that's nice thank you and then sorry and then you have to tighten these but with a little bit force not too much and only with fingers yeah again 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 and finished and these screws are not tightened to the back panel okay and then the whole board here can resonate okay it's no pressure on it and uh, the the tone is not um, defeated I think I think it's the right word it's not compressed anymore and you can hear it directly and now I will say you what Dave wrote to me yeah uh, hello again Mike yes it does indeed sound different far more musical much better bass and the thin harshness at the top end seems to be tamed a fuller more engaging musical uh, musical experience possibly a wider sound stage but perhaps i'm imagining that at this early stage punchier too yeah all tracks streamed by tidal yeah two pontos so uh, what's, uh, so thank you so much for this tip yeah okay it's no problem yeah but what does this happen yeah <laughs> i don't know why this happened wow yeah that's it <laughs> nobody knows how important is assembling and the correct assembling of a device and i told it to you and you, now you can um test this my advice and then this is only one point one important point but it's only one point of mechanically tuning of a device and um, I would would have that a manufacturer will call me and say hey Mike uh, I have a very good device so let's do it together and uh, give me your advice yeah how to assemble it and how to build it um, electric uh, is my part and uh, Mike you can do the mechanical part okay yes well wonderful headquarter audio yeah and um, you will see you can go much much uh, um, uh, further yeah and, and better better listening to music and it's not so fatiguing or spiky and uh, more analog and um, if you do more mechanically inside there are many tips that I cannot tell you because it's it's, it's my it's my it's my tip it's my my experience over years yeah but um, this is one of this and you can see it's the right way yeah and yeah that's my tip for you and please uh, subscribe here and please um, wrote, write in the comments uh, your experience with my advice and my tip uh, how uh, different it sounds or um, you can you also you can write hey do you are an idiot and um, that does not matter what you are saying it's okay it's okay yeah um, but I think for some of you with a very very balanced rig this might be a very important tip okay and if you want more Tips, please read the comments I will give everyone an answer and uh, give an advice or further advices uh, to go further with your Rick and um, yeah that's it for today I hope you will uh, subscribe please sub subscribe and uh, write comments that's uh, communication between me and you okay thank you and I wish you the best in Corona times. Thank you. Bye.